Konnichiwa and welcome back as we continue our journey through this fascinating country. This week we're starting at the foothills of Japan's national symbol, Mount Fuji. And Scenic makes sure we have the chance to fully embrace the local culture. From traditional drumming classes to a visit to the country's largest wasabi farm. Totally laid out for tourists to learn everything there is to know about wasabi and its origins. It's easy to forget that this is a working farm and all 15 hectares of it are meticulously kept all year round. Mr. Hama, Hi. this is the wasabi plant. Hi. Eat it? Oh, actually, not very hot. Oh, yes. It's a slow release. Getting it now. Got it. Yeah, that's hot. Wasabi grows in water and is plucked from the ground like a carrot and then transformed into every type of product imaginable. So it's like a wasabi smorgasbord. There's wasabi juice, wasabi burger, wasabi croquette, wasabi in cheese and boiled fish sausage. Oh, I'm going to need to wash that down with wasabi beer, I think. Wasabi ice cream is much more my speed. <gasps> what a gorgeous little town! Yes, that is a small village called Shirakawa Go Village. Actually, White River Village. So, White River Village? Yes. While Tokyo is one of the most populated cities on the planet, over two thirds of Japan is mountainous and remote villages like Shirakawago will take you on a step back in time to what rural life was like here centuries ago. It is difficult to see such a village or community anymore in Japan. How old is the village? So this was originally from 16th century. Yeah, built by Huda Road. Yes. Wow. Located in a river valley and surrounded by rugged mountains, the village was so isolated, it existed on the cultivation of mulberry trees and rearing of silkworms. Ah, oh, it's really pretty, Mika. Yeah, thank you. The homes here are designed in what's called gasho style, a rare form of architecture named for the steep roof, which resembles two hands joining in prayer. Kanda House is an old fashioned farming home with over 160 years of history and today is preserved in its original state purely for tourists. Our journey has delivered us to the town of Takayama in central Japan, often nicknamed Little Kyoto, thanks to its many shrines and temples and its old-fashioned Japanese charm. The town's local market, open every day, is a good starting point. Normally, markets are so noisy and crowded and people yelling at you, but here, yeah. it's just the sound of the running water. It's so peaceful. Yes, that's right. The market began over three centuries ago by silk farmers who sold the leaves of mulberry trees. These days, it's expanded into all manner of things, but with the same rule. Everything sold here must be produced locally. The market's riverside location is an added bonus. So it's not only the people that get fed here at the market, it's the fish as well. Yes, that's right. Yes. We have so many koi here. Oh, yes. Such the fish are released by the city in spring. Just decoration. This year, we released 300 koi cups in this river. And the koi are really valuable, aren't they, oh, Miko? Yes, that's right. So they are very expensive. What would one koi cost, for example? Maybe 10,000 or more than. 10,000 10, yen? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, about yeah. 120 oh. Australian dollars. Oh. So why aren't people jumping in there to try and steal them? And Japanese people are very honest. Yeah, That's we'll true. never do such a crime. Takayama's old town area has been beautifully preserved, with whole streets dating back to the 1600s and 1700s when the town was full of wealthy merchants. The old town is also home to several sake breweries. Miko, I've heard about this sake oh, place. Oh, yeah. But right. I never realised there were so many different types of sake. Yeah. 
So many. Yeah, so you can try. Like okay. Them, your favourite one. So they're citrus flavour. Yeah. Oh, top quality master. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have that one. Yeah, Only the top please. quality yeah, ones for yeah. me. <laughs> so, uh, it got the gold medal in the sake competition in Japan. Shall we? From the corner. Wow. <gasps> that is top quality. That is gold. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. it is the master sake. Thank you. <gasps> A couple of bottles to take home. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. lethal. Join Scenic on a tour of Japan, travelling in five star luxury. Discover an intriguing culture, visit vibrant cities, and experience the traditions of this fascinating land. And just for getaway viewers, visit scenic.com.au forward slash getaway now to save $1,000 per person off all Japan tours departing in 2019 and 2020. To book or request a free brochure, visit scenic.com.au or call 138 128.